Hello everyone, this is Irene. Seriously Scrapping is me and I've recently started making these beautiful blending tools and I'd like to share them with you. Now, as you can see they've been customised. I've painted them and added some embellishments to the knobs. Just a big brad and some cord rope and buttons and a little coiled little rope thing there with the braid in the middle. These are very easy to make. The way I got my idea was I was sick of um, paying 15 to 20 dollars for one stamping pad. My secret is I haven't got the hole to show you but this is how it looked like. It was a door stopper and the door stopper was like that, that long and this knob on the top, this knob on the top if you can imagine it was stuck this way. This isn't the actual knob but similar to this. So what I did, I went to uh, the spare change in things, uh, any cheap Asian variety shop. Went to the hardware section bit and I bought this mini uh, woodcutter over here, if you can see that. Just move that out the way. This cost $2.50. If you have something that chops wood, great. If not, I, that's all I did it with. And if you could imagine this being whole, I'll give you a proper tutorial if I get people wanting to see it. Just leave comments stating that and I'll do it. All I did was, if you could just bring that down. If you could imagine, yeah, I mean, don't have to be strong, I'm no wood expert and yeah, you know, it takes a bit of muscle, not too much. So you chop that part off and then you end up with that block and then you chop this part which is up here off, so I chop that off got my hot glue gun and stuck those two pieces on there. Then after it dried I got my paint, did about two to three coats of paint with that one and with this one and, and that's all. And I thought it would be lovely to put some embellishments on and personalise it. Now a lot of people make their own with Velcro and uh, felt but um, I think it looks tacky. I'd rather use the real things. So I bought the refills. You get about eight little pads like this in the refills. And double sided tape stick it on and away you go you can get the mounted double sided tape and just put one bit there one bit there so it's all even and that's all and you can change them stick them back on if you want it permanently down there you know, you can get your hot glue gun and uh, stick on the double mounting tape and stick some onto that and stick it on there. And um, I'll tell you what, unbelievable. They feel like a million bucks. So if you want to see a tutorial on step by step how to make them, or if you even want me to sell you some, uh, please leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.